Hey, what's going on, rock stars? Blue Rocker Guitars, coming at you. And here you have it, the old I've been had. <laughs> I can't help myself, man. It's just the way it is. Well, she's done. She looks awesome. What do you think? Awesome splatter job? <laughs> well, we didn't do the back. We just did the front. And we'll get to that in a second. But I think she came out pretty damn good. Um, especially the paper that was actually on the cover there of the electronics cavity. That was from 1980-something, obviously, maybe 1990. Not sure when this thing came out. And uh, yeah, not too bad. It uh, has a little scuff marks here and there. But uh, that's to be expected, you know, because 1980, 1990, somewhere in there. But yeah, super nice. Nice and black. Better than that uh, other color <laughs> this thing was originally. So yeah, let's flip it over. Oh yeah, the splatter finish. Well, not bad for my uh, actual first one, which is strange because I mentioned that in the last video that uh, painted over like 2,500 guitars, 2,500, I don't know. A lot of guitars since 2004 and you think I would have done a splatter. But as it turns out, um, no. I didn't do one. <laughs> so this is the first one. He wanted uh, red and black and a little bit of white in there. And that's uh, that's pretty much what we accomplished for him. I think it looks pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the splatter. And uh, that's kind of what he was going for. And uh, yeah, I think we did a good job. He loves it. So he's picking this bad boy up tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we actually did the headstock, too. Um, initially, he's like, didn't really care about the headstock. And uh, it looked like it was from 1980. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, not letting that go out of my shop with the awesome paint job. And the headstock looks all, you know, half-assed, so to speak. So... You know, had to have the paint head got done. Had had to have the headstock done, and uh, yeah, I think it came out great as well. As you can see, Ibanez splatter, and uh, yeah, not too shabby. It originally had a white logo, and uh, I went back with a uh, more of a nice uh, silver metallic to kind of give it a a little bit of something, and uh, actually came out really nice. So, now it looks more, you know, uniform, in my opinion. Can't, uh, can't do one without the other, in my opinion. If you're going to do a, a body, you're going to paint the body, um, you should paint the headstock. Unless it was originally not painted, then, uh, yeah, just a wooden headstock, then that's fine. But, yeah, tell us about what you think of the splatter. Now this is real splatter, this isn't a digital image. As I think I mentioned in the last video, a lot of the guitars now are digital images. And I can understand why. If you're a company and you gotta spit out, you know, 2,000 plus digital images of splatter, um, that's gonna take some time to actually physically paint that. So um, a lot easier just to slap on a graphic and just sh shoot some clear coat over it. And uh, you know, that way you can have each guitar look you know exactly the same pattern and uh, style if that's what you're going for I mean if you have that particular model um, of splatter and a lot of companies do that and you know that's okay I just uh, I kind of frown on it myself because I don't consider it art at that point <laughs> even though this is not fancy art but this is splatter I think splatter paint jobs should be unique and different. Every single one of them should be that way. No two should be alike, in my opinion. And I think more people would like that. Um, that way, you know, if you get a splatter paint job and your buddy gets a splatter paint job, they're not going to be identical. And you show up at the gig and, oh, matching splatter. <laughs> yeah, that's just as bad as wearing the same shirt. You know, you go out and, hey, what the hell are you doing, man? Take off that shirt, you bonehead. You can't have the same shirt as me. <laughs> exactly so you know what i'm saying but uh yeah came out pretty damn nice and uh set it back up plays pretty good and uh not not too much i can you know crucify here on the old ibanez um it's light as a feather it plays really nice uh, for what it is and uh yeah 
So my client digs it, and that's the most important part, right? There you go. Pays me lots of cash, and uh, we like that. So uh, if you need a custom paint job, you need a custom guitar, uh, you need just some awesomeness heading your way, just give us a call, shoot us an email, look us up on the interwebs and all that good stuff. Like, share, subscribe, tell us what you think, and uh, we'll be happy to help you out. And uh, up and coming is the uh, Van Pirate. It is complete, the bass. Now the guitar is still in process. Cause yeah, I just can't go. In. I just can't get into that right now. But that's up and coming. So uh, you look out for that one. That is going to be awesome. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to um, film it, so to speak. So I want to do something a little more unique than just the cell phone. I'm still alert, learning how to use my uh, buried under the towels over there, <laughs> my GoPro. So uh, yeah, it's just I don't have a lot of time to to mess around with video. Uh, I'm trying to just do quick videos, make it somewhat entertaining, so you can check out the custom paint work I do, check out the custom build work I do. I'm going to get more involved, so stick around, stay tuned, and we'll catch you on the flip side. See ya!